Uh, I just noticed that this portal is like not right. I place a block there. Oh my goodness. I'm so confused. What if I. Oh. Okay, so no updating it or else. Oh. Oh no. My glass has gone through the portal. Uh, well. That was really weird. Anyways. Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here for episode 34 of Sketch Survival. And in this episode, I am not too sure what I want to do, but I want to get started with a third person time lapse of, uh, like basically mining these crops. I gotta let them grow a little bit. But yeah, I want to get this satisfying time lapse on with. Also, I'm looking through blocks by accident uh, when I'm like walking. Anyways, let's get into that. Okay, let's also get into a little resource gathering time lapse, maybe like some beacon mining, getting some wood killings of cows and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's get into that nice time lapse because I have a few plans for this episode. <laughs> I did a third person time lapse of mining down here. Yes, last episode. Why don't we do a first person time lapse of it? Thank you. 
I hope you guys did enjoy that montage, and you guys may have been like, no third person time lapse during the montage at all. Uh, why is that? And there's no really reason why, it's just I decided not to. But uh, the reason why I wanted to get those materials, some of them were just cause, why not? And the other reason is because I want to build a storage system, and uh, I didn't think I was actually going to put a storage system here, but I guess that's what this has turned into, and I've decided to put a storage system inside the castle. So, yeah, I know we have the storage down there, but that's basically just for design, and these are going to be for just to have, you know? And, uh... I really, really think that, oopsies, uh, I really think that I'm going to use the storage system unlike the one down below because that one wasn't really a storage system made to be used. Like, it wasn't, like, good to the point where it could be in use. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that one. But, uh... You know what? I think we should have a staircase over here that goes to the second floor instead of more chests. Uh, it makes more sense to me. We can have like a staircase with barrels under it if we need more storage though. This seems like a pretty good amount of storage, but based off of how much I have, I'm probably gonna have this be my storage as well as the house. And having two storage systems never work out, so maybe we would have to expand upstairs or something like that. Uh, but I'm not too sure about that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that I want this castle to be my storage system, like the up, upper parts. And we might have to put stuff in there and in there. I'm, oh, I forgot that there's this whole area back here. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Maybe put, like, a automatic sugar cane farm, but we already have one of those. So, yeah, I may have to think more about what I want to do there. But, yeah, we wanted to put some chests in there and now i also got to put in some item frames on the chests just for like labeling and that type of stuff so we should probably get some sticks for the item frames we need like how many chests are there like 25 maybe i have like different sticks and stuff everywhere uh maybe like let's see how many we can make 30 32 that's half a stack that should be good and we actually got to sleep in a sec, but let me put in the item frames uh, where the chests are just for, like, storage purposes. And this is nowhere close to being as big as the storage system that we have on Global SMP, uh, but it's still good. Because, like, we're always moving to different areas, which we can have, like, a storage system in each area. Like, we have all those chests and barrels it's like unorganized chests and barrels at this other area over here that we have for some storage. And if I ever, like, this is mainly the storage for the crops and stuff. And I still have to sort out this. Wow. Lots and lots of stuff here that I gotta sort out and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that is like, I really think that we're gonna have our stuff spread out throughout the different parts of the world, but I think for this part of the world, we're gonna have our storage system be in the castle, and maybe still leave some in here, I'm not too sure, but, uh, yeah, that's just what I have to say on that. Now that we have a storage system, I'm probably gonna get sorting to that fairly soon, not right now and not on camera, because that is gonna be so boring, and I, I don't think I'm ever gonna get to it, though, which is kind of sad, but, you know... So we're going to have different build projects around the world. We may do a build project here and like we did this one right here. And I think I want to do those different build projects. But at the moment, we're going to keep it kind of in this general area. Like we're not going to go to a mushroom biome to do build stuff yet. Because I do want to wait until 1.17 to go a little further. And... Uh, I don't know if, like, the cave generations is going to change to already loaded chunks, so we're just not going to load any new ones yet. So we're going to stay in, like, the close proximity of, like, a thousand, a thousand, uh, in every direction. But, uh, yeah, I think that if we don't go too far, it'll be easier just to find new things in the future, because I don't want the world files to get too big. Or else it's going to be very hard for you guys to download in the future, and 
I think that I kind of have plans for this series in the future, but as you guys may be able to see, it's episode 34 of Sketch Survival. And because it's episode 34, it's kind of like we have to wrap up this project here, this whole town area, which I really love. And I think it's like amazing how we have a quarry mine, we have all these different buildings and like the castle and stuff and it's definitely almost done but there's like a few things that we have to do like terraforming right here this is very oddly messed up and like the pathway to get to the castle which i don't know if we're gonna ever complete everything but like it's just like in the next episode i think i want to do like a tour of sketch survival just because it's not gonna be like one of those world downloads and tours it's just gonna be a tour because the next world download is on episode 50 just like to catch everybody up but i want to add some finishing touches i think the next order of business is to change this this nether portal it i i said in like episode 7 i was gonna fix it or change it but we never got around to doing that so let me whip something up really fast to see what we can do here well bam wow i think it looks so much better you pass on the path you pass like this nethery area where our portal is and it could be a little better around the portal like some dirt patches here can be fixed up a bit but i definitely think it's a lot better it feels a bit cramped right in this area just because the farm is so close but i think it's very nice and i really love how it turned out to be honest like this whole aesthetic of the nether that we have here i really like it and uh we went over to the fortress to get some of the warp blocks, or the crimson blocks, and then stuff like that. And it was a really fun time, but uh, yeah, that's basically what we have here. The nice nether portal. It's looking really nice, to be honest. And just like details like this around the world re is really needed to push this world to its limits. And now I gotta find something else that I have to do in today's episode because in the next episode we're going to do basically the same thing a little bit more probably adding another building and then also a mini tour is my plan but uh yeah i'm definitely liking how that portal turned out okay so i've done some stuff and what i've done is some paths so we have this path over here to go up into the staircases and then we've also done the path over here so coming out of this little tunnel we did a path coming over to the tower that we have here and what i want to do now is probably end off the episode shortly but what i want to do is the sketch survival museum additions of the episode i don't even know if i'm saying that correctly like i don't know what i don't know if i'm doing it right but we got to do the sketch survival editions and we have to do two because last episode we forgot to do one okay so the sketch survival comments of the episode since we have two are gonna be from i build stuff and robo so this one was from two episodes ago maybe for season two you could do a hardcore world to a uh, hardcore survival world to and try to survive and that was a comment i had to abbreviate it a little bit but that's from Robo, and love the feedback, of course, which is why that's in here. And you're going so fast, you'll probably be at 200 subscribers next month from my build stuff. And that's the note where you guys subscribe, okay? Subscribe and uh, comment down below that you subscribed, and you have a chance of being in the Sketch Survival Museum. And make sure you guys comment on these Sketch Survival videos for a chance to do that, because if you comment on any of my other videos, it won't count at all. But, uh, yeah, that is that, and I like it very much. Now, there's a cat outside. Why is there a cat outside? Yeah, that's odd. But, yeah, that is, unfortunately, going to be it for today's episode. I really, really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you want. You don't have to. And uh, I'm going to go head out now. Hope you guys, I see you guys in the next video. And if I do, that's great. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Goodbye.